Howdy. Alrighty guys, hey, what's up? My name is Forrest, this is Gump Central, and hopefully, hopefully I remember what I was doing. Because it has been roughly, uh, let's see, less than 24 hours since I made the last video, but I have been watching a lot of other videos and reading a bunch of tutorials on how to do stuff, like make an auto-rotating solar panel farm, and... Let's see, uh, it also applies to oxygen farms, and, well, yep, that, that, that's about it. Uh, but I have been spending a lot of time doing that, so, let's see if I remember what I'm doing. Oh, hey, look, a sticky note, what do you know? Uh, tear apart ship, remember to record. Those seem like two very difficult tasks that I probably can't do. Anyways, that's what we're doing today, we're gonna be taking apart that ship to build this base. And why are we doing that? Well, I don't know, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. And I'm just glad that this thing didn't despawn when I left the game. Uh, I would be very upset that, you know, lost everything. But uh, we're actually going to set that to... Where is it? Depressurize. Collect as much oxygen as you can. Um, what am I talking about? Oh, right. So, here's today's to-do list. Take apart this ship and listen to me rant about fish. Yes, you heard me right. Today I'm going to be talking about fish. Why? Because I'm terrible at taking care of them. And that's just a topic that I uh, really want to talk about for some reason. I don't know why I want to talk about it, but I want to talk about it. Um, I really wish I... Or I should probably really have a hydrogen can on me, but uh, whatever. Anyways, talking about fish today. I need to turn down my own volume because that is wicked loud. Still too loud for me. And hopefully it's quieter for you guys, but I'm not sure. Um, so, just before I get started on the fish, let's recap what we did in last week's episode. Aww. Uh, we... Ah, we built... Okay, we landed, and then we built this nice solar panel array here, and then we built this thing, and then we decided, no, wait, that's not right. We built this, moved the ship, then built this thing, and that's where we left it, because I am terribly misorganized and don't know what I'm talking about most of the time, but now I do, I think. Anyways, today we are going to be taking apart the ship and listen to me rant about fish. Now, let's get started on the topic of fish while I do this, because if you don't know how to take apart a ship already, well, um, then you missed the tutorial number one on Space Engineers, because that was, like, really tutorial one, was taking apart a ship. So, uh, back to the fish. I have killed a numerous amount of fish. Most of them being deep sea fishing and stuff, but you know, that's that's absolutely fine. The ones that I want to talk about today are domestic fish, like the four koi that I had, and I've killed them all because I'm ter apparently terrible at keeping track of fish. You know, you don't have to put them on leashes, you don't have to take them for walks, all you have to do is feed them every day, right? It's as simple as that. Wrong. That's not what you do. You have to change their water every specific amount of time, make sure their filter is doing good, clean the rocks that make up their aquarium. Oh, that's not my goal. Um, make sure they're not sickly. I mean, I had six fish in my tank, now there's three. Three of them have died. I can list them off, um, but you won't know what they look like, so you won't really care. Anyways, it's, it's harder than it looks. It's harder than everyone makes it sound because you really have to put a lot of time and effort into taking care of fish like after I record this episode I have to do a water change on their tank yes you heard that right I just ran out of a hydrogen like I said I should have had an extra hydrogen tank on me do I have any probably not hey what do you know I do that's that's pretty handy um And that's just to make sure they die. But that stresses them out. But it also keeps them alive. So what are you going to do? 
Well, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time anyways. I discussed on the last episode. But what I'm doing... Whoa, I actually remember that. Most of the time I don't even remember what I have for breakfast, and I have that the exact same day. How do I know what I talked about in the last episode? I have no clue. Anyway, oh, stop that. Energy is critical. Um, what's going on? Oh, right, fish. Uh, so, like, three of them have died, and I've got another one who I just keep watching to make sure he doesn't die. Because where I go to school, the water is not of the cleanest possible thing that it could be. So, yeah, sure, I could quarantine my fish tank, but, you know, um... What am I going to do? All the other fish have been opened up to the same water that I'd put the other one in. Um, but, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just bad at taking care of pets. I mean, I'm, it's a miracle my dog has survived this long. Probably because I didn't take care of him most of the time, but it was all my parents. Um, I, <laughs> where I live, we just we, we let him run free because we have enough acreage and stuff. And if... My parents weren't there. I would forget to let the dog in at night, and he'd probably get eaten by coyotes. Like, that is how terrible I am. And yes, dogs are adorable and they're loving, but I'm bad with animals, apparently. Like, everything else in life. But, um, what, what happened here? Okay. Won't ask any questions that I don't want to know the answers to. Um, so, I, I look over my fish tank and I see two fish, who I know can survive anything, and then I look at my favorite fish, his name is Steven, he is a, um, Calico Ryukan goldfish, which, uh, is an expensive fish, uh, don't get me wrong, and, Obviously, no, that was dumb. Um, he can last a while because he's uh, he has survived. I don't know how many days this has been. This is like the third week that I've had him. He has survived that many days looking very sickly, and I mean, very sickly. Like, he hangs out on the pebbles a hundred. Not 100. He's actually up on the top right now. 90% of the time, he's got a whole bunch of white spots on his tail. Um, he just... He doesn't look good, and I keep thinking that he's going to die, but he's not dying. I don't know what's going on. Like, he is the strongest fish I have ever had. What? Oh, that's bulletproof glass. Why you would need bulletproof glass on an interior screen? I don't know. Um, but... I'm actually going to build this nuclear reactor so that we have a small source of power, but I don't really have to worry about it. Um, sounds like a pretty good idea. Hey, look, water. Cool. So, I'm just going to throw that uranium in there. I mean, I've got nothing to power, so we'll just keep that off. Actually, I mean, I could charge the batteries, but we're just going to keep the, that just in case we have any backup things that we need. Um, I don't, I guess I'm done ranting about fish. I mean, I don't know where I was going with it other than I'm bad at taking care of pets. Why I didn't empty my inventory, I don't know. Uh, okay, anyways, it's been a long day. I've got a test that I have to prepare for. Um, and I decided to do this instead. Go figure. Oh. Um. What? I don't really know. There's not much else going on in my life that I can babble on about for the next five minutes. I mean, other than I'm saving up for new computer parts and stuff. Um. I mean, the first thing I'm doing is getting a new monitor because I'm tired of this one. And then everything else is relatively new. 
Like, uh, probably get a new, starting with a new motherboard. I'm definitely getting a new motherboard because I'm tired of this one and it's lack of expansion slots. Um, like, well, that and, well, okay, I could, I could talk about that for about five minutes. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so, at the end of last summer, my computer was still relatively new. I mean, it was nine months old at that point, which is old in computer speak, but it was new. Okay. So, it had never been home before. Because if you watched any of my other episodes, you would know that I used to live at school and long stories. Um, so, at school, I just needed an Ethernet cable. I never needed Wi Fi on my desktop. Because, I mean, why would you need Wi Fi if you're always plugged in? Rocking some high internet speeds, right? Uh, okay. So, I went out and I bought a uh, Wi Fi card. And. Okay, I can still manage that. So I bought a Wi-Fi card, and I plugged it in, and everything set up, and in the process, I undusted everything. But, later do I find out that... And I just figured this out, like, three months ago, which is, makes it almost... Uh, almost two years that I'd had my computer and not known this. Um, the Wi-Fi card that I had installed was actually making my computer freeze. I don't know what was going on with it, no one could ever explain it. Everything that I came up with was just that my CPU was throttling. Well, false, it wasn't my CPU. Go figure, huh? So I've still yet to figure it out, um... And, I mean, I'm back at school now, so... I, uh, don't really need Wi-Fi for my computer, so I was like, well, screw it. I mean, my house doesn't have Wi-Fi anymore. Um, there's no internet there anyways, that's why I don't post videos over the summer. Uh, but, so, I don't need the Wi-Fi card in it, and my computer will stop freezing while I process photos and videos and stuff. Alright, that sounds like a great idea. So, I completely took it out, and why did I do that? Uh, this one, okay. Um, and so, yeah. Don't buy the TP-Link wireless PCI 16 uh, Wi-Fi card. It'll make your computer freeze. Or at least the one I bought did. If you want to buy it, it's 30 bucks. Message me somehow. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not for sale. Don't actually buy it. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, after I save up and keep making some money and stuff, I'm going to most definitely upgrade my computer. And my current plan actually is to, uh, I've actually got a new build going and where I just build a brand new computer and this one is a backup for like rendering videos and stuff because I do know how to connect all the SATA and stuff. Um, so what I would do is I'd have a whole bunch of memory in this current computer. I mean, this one's got three and a half terabytes already. And then what I'd do is I'd just go in and I'd reconfigure um, all the SATA cables um, to where they'd breach out of the back of this computer that I'm using now. Um, and they would go into the new one. Ah, don't want to do that yet. Still need my medical bay. <laughs> Lol. Um, and with that being said, guys, it looks like this video is actually coming to an end. We got quite a bit done. Um, I mean, the top half of the ship has been destroyed. So. Oh, lovely. I, I've always loved those. Uh. Yeah, so with that being said, guys, um, <laughs> my name is Forrest. Uh, this is Gump Central. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like rating, um, comment on ways I can improve, and things to talk about in my next ones. Uh, 
Uh, videos come out every Monday at 6 a.m. Yeah, where are these meteors hitting? Anyways, with that, uh, roll the outro, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, bye.